Did Lloyd Austin just speak out of turn? Did he just commit to USA's defeat? Did he just say that Russia has won? Turns out, he kind of did. Welcome to TFI Global, the antidote to mass delusion. Pentagon chief Lloyd Austin, while in Poland for a high-level meeting, offered some candid and let's say interesting insights. Speaking to US soldiers, he suggested that Russia's success in Ukraine might just be the nudge China needs to flex its military muscles in the Indo-Pacific. Quite the domino effect, according to a Voice of America report. Austin didn't mince words with the troops. He essentially said if Putin gets Ukraine, he won't just call it a day. The picture he painted was one where Putin, emboldened by victory, could roll across the Baltics next. And then, as Austin dramatically put it, the next thing you know, you and your comrades will be on the front lines. It's like he's saying, stop him now or you're next. Quite the rallying cry, hinting at much bigger picture of geopolitical chess where Ukraine might just be the opening move. Continuing in the vein of Pentagon chief Lloyd Austin's tour de force in Poland, his comments did more than just stir the pot. They echoed the growing chorus of anxiety among NATO's Eastern European members, as noted by the Voice of America report. Since Russia's invasion of Ukraine last February, countries like Poland, Romania and Estonia aren't just playing host to more US troops and weaponry. They are beefing up their defenses like there's a clearance sale on security. Austin, ever the wordsmith, summed it up with a zinger. We don't want to live in a world where an autocrat can wake up and take over his neighbor's property. Talk about laying it out plain and simple. It's as if he's saying, wake up world or your backyard might be next on the shopping list. There's one way to drive home the importance of deterrence, the side of stark reality. But wait, the plot thickens with Pentagon chief Lloyd Austin's recent remarks. It's almost like we're getting mixed signals now. On one hand, there's this narrative that Ukraine is holding its own, maybe even winning, or so we are told. What is he hinting at? Is he subtly preparing us for a plot twist in the long drawn saga? And here is the kicker. Austin's tone seems a bit defeatist, doesn't it? This isn't the usual pep talk from a high ranking official. It's almost as if he's conceding that Putin might have the upper hand. So what is the play here? Is Austin just being a realist or is this the classic move of stirring up fear, changing the narrative and shifting goalposts? One thing is for sure, he is not just talking about the weather.